Man, what's good, you two? It's your boy, Ja. As you see by the title, I'm going to be showing y'all boys my sneaker collection. No, this channel is not about guns, bro. I I do everything on this channel, bro. But today, we're going to bring my shoe collection. So, as you can see, I got a hefty pair. Let me move out of your way. I got a hefty pair of shoes back here. And yes, I recently just started getting to shoes. Because, I ain't gonna lie, back then, I did not have that many pair of shoes. But, as you can see now, I'm starting my shoe collection. And, yeah, man, so I'm gonna start with my oldest pairs of shoes, which will be these Jordan 12s, bro. Like, these Jordan 12s got me through a lot. And my bad if I keep, like, stopping and pausing. This video is not going to be edited like how y'all think it would be. This is a raw cut video, bro. Like, all my videos are going to be raw cut. If I have to edit some, it's fake. If I'm not giving you a raw content, it's not real content. You feel me? So, check me out. We got Jordan 12s. If y'all can guess the, com the color in the comments... Hey, I'm going to get y'all something. But look, so we got the Air Jordan 12 Retros. I'm going to just show y'all these bad boys. These shoes have got me through a lot, as you can tell by them. So these are the Concord 12s. I recently did just clean them. They probably look old on the camera, but like if you see them in person, they look like they just literally been clean. So on the eyelids, this is like the paint rubbing off. I don't know if y'all can see that, but like the paint is rubbing off on it. But I purchased these shoes for like 220 when they first came out. And mind you, I got the last pair that was in the store. So yeah, man, I kinda gotta kinda got a steal. I ain't gonna say a steal, but like I kinda got a good price on these shoes. And I did work in these shoes one time. So I don't know if y'all can see like a little dirt in there, I still didn't get it off. But yeah, I've been having these shoes ever since. Let me see when these shoes came out. These came out, I think, 2020. Yeah, I've been having these shoes since 2020, and it's 2024. So I had these shoes for like four years, bro. And look at the condition on them. Look at the condition on them. Not that bad. Like, I would still wear these out in public, just not like, oh, with some, with some, with a crazy ass fit. But nah, bro, um, I do rate these shoes a good 6 out of 10. The reason why I rate these shoes 6 out of 10 is because the bottom part, bro. The bottom part. When I'm walking, it feel like I'm, I'm clapping something. Like, like, these Jordan 12s are fucking boots, bro, literally. I like the, I like the style of them, but it's just, bro, no, bro. When I'm walking, it sound like I got boots on, and it is just not the best. So my mic just almost fell. It's just not the best, bro. But yeah, man, wrap it up, man. This is my Jordan, my Jordan Twelves Concords, and these are my oldest pair of shoes that I have so far. So, like I said, Rick, that was six out of ten. If I like Twelves, then hey, that's y'all, bro. But we. I really don't like 12s. I like the style of 12s. So, next. Next, 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 next. And a lot of people do have these. And, bro, do not mind the box, bro. I do not know what this is. I think it's glue because I do have a 3D printer. But these are my Jordan Retro 5s. And like I said, y'all can guess the color on these just by telling off the box. Because all Jordan 5s do not have this box right here. I think the Jordan 5 box do switch up. But, man, man, man. I bought these shoes overpriced. Super overpriced. And kind of mad because I don't really wear them as much. But here y'all go, man. Here is my Jordan 5 Blue Racers. I do not wear these as much, and mind you, I just clean all my shoes, so they kind of look dusty on the camera, but in person, you would have to actually see them, like, I had these shoes for a little minute, too, um, 
You can really tell I don't wear these shoes because the Jordan logo is still in there. And yeah, man. Um, I've been having these shoes for about what a year or two, maybe. And mind you, I do like fives, but the only thing about the fives is the tongue. I don't like how fat the tongue is. So I like overall, I do rate this shoe a good eight. And this this is my second pair of fives, so I do know how to dress with the fives, and I do know how to like maintain them. These fives right here feel so good on feet, bro. Like, just don't understand. These. I do recommend these, this colorway, like this colorway is just so tough, like you can't even go wrong with it. But like I said, bro, eight out of 10 on these Jordan 5s. I wish I could wear them more, but hey, it is what it is, bro. All right, so, let's see My next pickup will be, I can see by the box. It looks weird. But hey. Pretty sure everybody got these in their shoe collection. And I'm one of them. So I'm bringing y'all the Bow Top Cement Jordan 11s. Yo. When I first seen these, I had to get them. Like, I had to get them. And the store behind these, honestly, I was at work when. I was like, I was, I was just shopping. Like I was at work, um, just looking for some shoes to buy. And I sent my homeboy to ask to go get these for me. And man, he got them for me. I I, had, I paid him and he went to go get them for me. Man, I don't really wear these shoes as y'all can see, like Jordan logo still in there. Shoes just overall clean, like, but I do. These are, by the way, these are my first pair of 11s, and I do kind of like 11s now that I got these. I wish I would have got high tops instead of low tops, but I like the low tops. And like I said, bro, I really don't wear my shoes like that, but I do rate these 9 out of 10. I just wish I would have got like some, like some black ones, but it is what it is, bro. I do like these shoes. I can't really say too much on these because it's my first pair. And yeah, man. I like them though. I definitely, I definitely do recommend y'all putting these in y'all, y'all uh, wardrobe. And again, that is my Jordan 11s. And I do rate those uh, eight out of ten. All right, so next, these are my actual first pair of 14s. I should never told y'all, but these are my actual first first pair of these. And like I said, bro, I got these when they first came out. I got these when they first came out. And the first, I think the first day I bought them, I went out and I put these on, bro. Like, tell me you can't go around with the Lan Laney Blues. Like, everybody say that the real ones is better. Yeah, which I understand that, but like, come on, bro. Like, these are just so tough. Just look at them. Like I said, bro. Look, it's peeling right there. Hey, yo, I, I got some fake Jordans. No, I'm just playing. But nah, bro. I wanted to cop the uh, the black and white ones. They recently just came out. And they all sold out, so I would have to just wait. But yeah, I used to wear these just about almost every day. And look at the condition on them. I don't got to really tell, but the condition is good. I did clean these as well, but... They not, they not messed up. Jordan logo still in the inside. I mean that my feet clean. All kind of stuff, bro. I do rate these a 10 out of 10. Why? Because these are my first pair. And I would just like the way that the shoe actually look like. Look at the shoe, bro. I like the I like the way the shoe kind of feel. I like the way the shoe feel, bro. Like the inside. It feels so good. And if you guys are like big on comfortability, I do say get these. But that's up to me. I I feel like they're comfortable on my feet, but I don't know how it fit on your feet. So it is what it is, bro. 
I feel like you would have to try them out first before you to say that you they feel good on your feet. But again, 10 out of 10 on my 14s, Laney Blues. And yeah. I don't know if y'all know, but a lot of these shoes are coming back out. So, yeah, man. Like I said, 10 out of 10 on these. Um, so, I did not buy these shoes. And these shoes right here was a gift. And I do appreciate you. I do appreciate it. And shout out to you. You know who you is if you're watching this video. So, as a kid, I recently had the, like, the orange, the, the orange ones, the white and orange ones. They, was, they came out a long time ago. I don't think those shoes never come back out. But, hey, man, I got, right here, I have the Playoff 8s, the Playoff Jordan 8s. The day I got these, I put them on my feet. And... I've just been wearing them since. They just uh, a shoe that you go with sweatpants. I don't really see myself wearing like, jeans with these, but I definitely do wear sweatpants with these. Like overall, it's a to me it's a good looking shoe. Everybody don't like it, but hey, it's an OG style shoe. I had these when I was a kid, and now look at me, man. I got them back, just in a different colorway. I do rate these shoes 9 out of 10. One thing I could say that, like, the webbing in the inside, like, right here, they could have just made that, like, one one piece instead of making it two pieces. Because, like, when I do go to put them on, um, my foot sometimes, sometimes tend to go, like, on the side, like, right here. So, yeah, that's another thing. Oh, that's one thing about these that I don't like. But overall, I do... Rate these a nine to ten. If these were my only pair of shoes, I would definitely wear these every day. But hey, got multiple, so I love these shoes, bro. And for the person that that bought these for me, bro, I would not sell these. Why? Because that person was was very special to me, and yeah. But yeah, these are my Jordan Eights playoff playoffs. Now, again, I rate these a 9 to 10. <clears throat> so, on to the next pair of shoes. Okay, so, for this one, we switching it up. As y'all can see by the box, my, the box is very dusty and crusty. But, I, before I even open this box, I want to rate these shoes. These shoes are a freaking... Four out of ten. So for one, these are the seven hundred Yeezy seven hundred. That's what it say. Yeezy seven hundred M N V N. And these are Adidas boost. So for one, I bought these, bro. I bought these because I like them at the time. Now I really don't like them. So for one, this is like mesh, like. This part right here gets so dirty. I don't know if I could tell, but it's like orange speckles of like red clay dirt, like right there in the toe box. Bro, when I tell you these shoes are not comfortable, these shoes are not comfortable. Why is because the shoe is mesh for once. So I don't know if I could tell. The shoe is like a, like a fleece type. And like, if you wear these shoes for too long, this part right here will start cutting into your foot, depending on like, if you have that arc in your foot, or if you flat footed, I'm flat footed, so this arc right here just just puncture, puncture the hell out of my fucking, on my foot. And sorry to cuss, but bro, these shoes I do not recommend these. These are just like some oh I'm about to put these on and go to the store type shoes, but I'm not about to wear these 24 seven. You know, it's only because of this part right here. If you if you have the arc in your foot. If you have the arc in your foot that looks like like that, maybe, then yeah, bro, I'd recommend it. But nah, these shoes is not it, bro. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna talk too much about these shoes, bro. It's it's just not recommended. And I paid so much for the shoes, but nah, bro. All right, my next pair of shoes. I do have. I have six pairs of Jordans and 
two pairs of Yeezys. And I'm gonna say the other Yeezys for last. I just picked those up, so yeah. Um so right here we have my Jordan 3 Fears that just came out not too long ago. I don't know when, but I just bought them. So yeah, we have Jordan 3 Fears. 2023. These did come out a minute ago. And these are not my first pair of threes. But having these like having a pair of threes in your collection, you cannot go wrong, bro. Like like these are just so tough. Like on feet, they feel so good. And overall I just rate them ten out of ten. Like I don't really have too much to say about it. And this lacing, bro. If you if you don't like like if you don't tie your shoes like the slide your shoes, I prefer this lacing right here on these threes. It makes the shoe look good, bro. And I like I and like I said about my other shoes, bro. The bottom is dirty because I when I first bought these, I did put them on. Cause like, what's the point of me buying the shoes? Let the shoe sit there, and not put them on. So yeah, ten out of ten, bro. Last but not least, I got my Yeezy 500s. I bought these from Homeboy. In good condition. And I can, like I say, these shoes right here feel so, 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 so good on feet. They got a little blood on it because I was playing basketball. It's my finger like that, bro. These shoes right here, you can do... You can play basketball in these. You can style them. I played basketball, but basketball in these recently. And bro, these feel so good. Only thing I don't like about it is this big gap. And like, when you hooping in these, you feel everything. So I might just stop hooping in them and switch back to my actual basketball shoes. But if you was to buy these shoes just for like style, I recommend these. The shoe may look ugly, but bro, you put it on your feet with some like some um some flares or some um like some skinny jeans, but you got yourself a fit, bro. Literally, like these shoes feel so good. I don't really know too much about Yeezys like this, but bro, do recommend them. Again, these are five hundred my uh, Yeezy five hundreds, and yeah, bro. I really don't got too much to say about them. I just know that these are better than the 700s. Literally. These are literally better than 700s. So, this is going to wrap up the end of the video. I don't know if I did rate these, but... 10 out of 10. Like I said. <laughs> but, this is going to wrap up the end of the video. Man, man. I do want to appreciate y'all for... Nah, I think we had sitting at 930 subscribers, man. I don't know if y'all know, but I do post gun content. I want y'all to go check that out. My shorts has been been popping off, bro. I do want to appreciate y'all. I want y'all to, I want y'all really to like interact with me. Like I do post like, like I I will start posting polls and stuff like that. And yeah, man, this is gonna be a long video, even though. I, don't have that, I didn't have that many shoes, but it's going to be a long video. And I want to just say thank you for all the love and support. And, yeah, this is this is it. But I do have one earring in, but I don't know why, bro. I do have one earring in. But, yeah, man. Make sure I hit that like and sub button. All my videos are raw and un unedited. Only thing that you're going to see, I'm going to have my, my socials down on the screen right here. And that's it, man. Make sure you hit that like, sub button, and peace out.